ain't going back. Now I'm going to buy into all that. Hey, hey, ain't going to hide. Going to let all the fears lie. Go, mother, they just saw my side. Got all of the loving. Hello, everyone. Welcome once again to Freedom's Calling You to Life's Lost Purpose. Today's topic, In the Clown's Shadow. Campbell and I are going to discuss how we can help, how you all have been in the shadow of clowns, how you shadow clowns, how clowns shadow you, all related to our new offering. Campbell and I have also decided, I'm going to put this out there right away, to help all those who wish 12-week, full interactive, weekly, live Zoom, virtual sessions with Campbell and or I taking you through Freedoms, calling you to life's lost purpose. So it's a 12 week course. Details will be below at the end of this video, but we figured since I've been a clown, can't talk for Campbell. I can only say, I think all of us have been clowns at some point or another in our lives. I can't talk for anyone at all. So we decided to call this one in the clown shadow and see where that takes us as you do shadow work and phantom work and see where you're good, where you're bad, where you've been silly and use that to pick up your own power which is what our course is about, to uncover and discover your own potential through your own understanding of you and what you can do, what you haven't done, and what you would like to do. Hello, Campbell. How are you going, Lorenzo? Hello, everyone. Yes, the clown, clown world, right? I mean, it's kind of a common phrase these days. Um, and, and I think it's become pretty apparent that we've been following clowns. Mm. You know, like who, who who are we following? Do we ever stop and think about this? You know, we, we went about our lives for, you know, decades following these people, doing what they told us to do, obeying their rules and their laws and living our lives to, you know, the way that they say that we should live. And now we find out they're all clowns. Mm. So it's a good question. You know, who, who are you following and why? And who are they really? Because, you know, and we talk about this a lot, like, when we see people, especially with social media and the way that the world is at the moment, it's very physical, right? All you really get to see is people's physical attributes. And, and look at the internet. It's all about, follow me because I have a, a Porsche and a McLaren and a house on the ocean. You know, there's there, there's nothing like I'm a good person. You know, <laughs> look what I'm doing to help others. It's all this external, like, look how much of a clown I am because I've done exactly what the other clowns told me to do. So now can you be my little clown and, and follow me? And we get this big line of clowns. Um, and, and that ends up with clown world, right? <laughs> so, yeah, it's a good question. Who are you following? And, and are they a clown? You know, the what's their mask made of? Have they painted their face up and, and are they tricking you that, that maybe there's something that they're really not? Because, you know, the world at the moment is, is full of scammers. It's full of people telling you they got the answers. And the reason is is these people know that there's a lot of people with questions that are confused. They want answers. So clowns will come along and go, I'll give you an answer. If you give me a thousand bucks, won't be the right answer. It'll be a clown answer. But this is what we've got to do. We've really got to start, you know, uh, focusing on where, where are we going? Who are we following? Where's it going to get us? You know, extrapolate these ideas out. If I keep going down this path, am I going to end up, you know, in my perfect life or am I going to end up at the circus? Well, and here's what we mean by the perfect answer for it's interesting that Campbell said a thousand dollars for the course, which is what we're charging. Interestingly enough, the uh, shadow, what I, what I, what I meant by calling this one in the clown shadow is that nobody does have an answer for you, right? So if you're following someone and you see they're a clown and everyone knows their bosses are a clown, like who hasn't had a boss, they call a clown behind their back or who hasn't had a friend, they call a clown or a teacher if they, you know, when they were in school and you know, that's all fine and dandy, but then as Campbell had mentioned, if you're following these clowns, like who's the clown now, right? So to speak, like if you have a boss and you know, he's a clown or she's a clown or they're clowns and, and they say, well, you got to do this, that, and that because you're going for your paycheck, even though you really don't like what they're telling you to do, but you're doing it to get paid, then you become in the shadow, you know, in the shadow, in the clown shadow, you're like li literally living in their shadow, you know, and the other side of that and what our course by, uh, you know, uncovering and discovering your potential is we also are looking to see how you've been clowning yourself and fooling yourself by taking their advice as what's possible and what's not. Like Campbell said, if you vote for someone and then they trick you, you're the clown for voting for them. If you keep voting, well, like who's the clown now? 
if someone, you know, the insanity thing, do the same thing over and over and expect a different result, you're just fooling yourself or clowning yourself. So you get to see by taking our course, if you want to and put the work in, what you may be missing from your own potential by how you're fooling yourself on the inside, by allowing yourself to be fooled on the outside. And it's usually, you know, it's two ends of a magnet that makes a hole, right? It, like nothing exists in a vacuum. Right. If, you, if, if, if you're living in clown world, it's probably because you're participating in clown world. And as soon as you stop participating in clown world, you're probably not living in clown world. And so by deciding and figuring out your potential and how you fooled yourself, because if you're somewhere you're not happy with, it's guaranteed you've been fooled, you know, even if it's a, if it's a, if it's a subconscious fooling. And then you get to see by uncovering you know, the big red shoes that you think are, 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 are work shoes or the clown suit that you think, you know, I, I see the salary men getting dressed in their clown suits and going to work, you know, so if you're putting on that suit every day and you're going to work or you're putting on whether it's a dress suit or a pants suit, doesn't really matter. Uh, you're really seeing for yourself, if you like, how you're clowning and fooling yourself and figuring out the opposite of that and the potential and how you can move away from that. It's pretty much what our course is about and pretty much what this discussion is about. Mm. Yeah, does the suit suit you? Um, just a quick diversion on suits and, and this kind of stuff. They've all got collars, cuffs, and ties around mm. the neck. Mm. It's a slave suit, right? Just like slaves used to get. Um, so, you know, are you wearing the wrong suit? You know, has someone has someone told you, look, just put on this this big green wig and this red nose and, and people will look at you and they'll like you and... Because when we think about clowns, no one knows who a clown is, right? A clown is a costume. A clown is someone that that, that puts on a face for the outside world and that gives them, you know, the skills to do other things, right? Because they're no longer themselves. So they can dance and they can sing and they can be funny because no one knows it's them. So this is another thing. Are you following people who are altering who you are? And they're saying, no, no, if you, if you just do this, then you'll get this and then this and then, you know, slowly change, right? And 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 this is what happens. They get your values from I just want to, you know, live a happy life and whatever to I need a house with a Porsche in a garage, right? That they, they change all this stuff to it's not who you are, it's what you have. And this is the thing that we all need to to understand is that's what these clowns are about. They're clowns. They, you know, they, it's, it's all a joke. It's all just this big joke. And what the clowns want to do, they just want to get you to believe that they've got the best costume and the best suit and most people pay attention to them and then you will follow them. And, and this is it. What, what do clowns want? Clowns want attention. All right. We've all we've all seen, you know, the sad clown, right? You put them in front of people with their costume and they're happy. Look at me. I'm amazing. I can do anything. Then they go home and they have to wipe the paint off. And we've got a sad clown, right? Sitting there all alone. Because when they go into the world, they're not themselves. So who's going to come around and hang out with them when, when there's no clown left? So this is the thing, you know, who, who are you following? Are you changing who you are? Are they changing you? And is it going to end up getting you where you want to go? Because, you know, like I said before, there's a lot of confusion around at the moment. People are like, what do I do? What do I do? You know, I've lost my job. I've lost my business. I've lost my house, all this stuff. And so there's so many people going, follow me, follow me. I've got the answers for you. Come on. Just put on a bit of white white paint on the face, this red nose, big shoes. Yep, you look great. Let's go out and, and do stuff. Um, you know, they'll do it, right? And a lot of the time, if you don't know where you're going, that these offers sound really good. Um, but as we say all, all the time, if someone's telling you and they're saying, look what I've done, just do what I do and you'll have it, that's a scam. Because what works for someone is not going to work for you because you're not them. Right. So yeah, it's time to time to grow up, get the big big shoes off, and, and put on the big boy pants, maybe in the big girl dress, and um, just just have a look around. And you know, we, we all we've all seen the news, right? We've all seen President Brandon, biggest clown of them all, right? All these people, they're clowns, and people are still following them. And even if they're not following them, they're giving them attention. They're, they're passing all these stories around. Look what Biden did now; he's so stupid. Um. Do we really need that information? Is that going to help us? Is it going to help us build a new earth? Probably not. Following clown rules can make you a clown if you're going, there's nothing I can do. You know, the clown of my country said this is, 
you know, possible and this is not possible. We've discussed this in other videos. You know, they say food's going up and I found for me, my prices are going down. They say you can't travel and you find ways that you can travel. You know, they say you mustn't and you find ways you do. It's part of what our course is about. As Campbell said, we're not telling anybody, follow us and you're going to have the answers because that's, you know, ultimately, of course, not true. But if you learn to follow yourself, you will find all the answers. And then if you haven't been successfully following yourself to a place you would like to live yet, and I would suggest most of us, you know, can find room for improvement in our lives, whether it's in our heart or whether it's in our energy or our health or our well-being or even our humor, uh, you know, that could uh, come from a full understanding of who you are. I mean, something that came, I saw in another video the other day, I can't take credit for this. So don't forget, a circus is a circle, right? So you follow the clowns into the circus, into the circle, and then you're spending your whole life running in circles, right? Under the big top. So you're under a top. It's a big top, but it's still a top, which still limits you. So you're under a top running in circles, following the clowns, you know, getting your clown shoes and your clown Porsche and your clown wife. I mean, I see the makeup that people are putting on here in Asia. It's just shocking to me shocking like, like I, I literally do double and triple takes when i see all of the white faces and crazy makeup and painted eyebrows and you know then you, if you're going to see some of these people without the makeup i mean what what are you marrying if you marry this kind of a clown and if you're doing that and the men here are starting to clown up themselves too you know putting their own makeup on and strangeness and i'm seeing that here and it's and it's just really bizarre but you know, if you have to hide behind all this to make yourself feel better or to trick the other person into being with you or to wear a suit to be tricking into being a job. I mean, in ultimately, why we call this in the clown shadow is you're going to find you've tricked yourself, right? You've tricked yourself into giving up your life for a, a paycheck. You've tricked yourself into getting married to a fellow clown because you're a clown. You've tricked yourself into giving up your time, which is value, you know, it, 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 you, you can't put a value on time. It is priceless. You only have so much. So a clown tells you, give up your priceless energy, time, resources, and effort, and I'll give you these painted pieces of paper, right? Or even worse, you know, a digital number on your cell phone that will allow you to buy your, 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 your sugar cereal next week, all right? Or will allow you to get a bottle of wine so you can forget the fact you're a clown. So you work really hard to get all of these so-called vacations and monetary resources and, and, and so-called bombs like alcohol or cigarettes or cannabis, which is you know more and more legal in different parts of the world, so-called legal. And what are you doing, right? You're, you're spending your clown energy for your clown bombs to forget your clown life getting older. And in the end, you're still sitting in the clown shadow and you'll die like everybody, you know, death is coming. So... What we're offering, Campbell and I, because a lot of the questions we've put in our course are very complicated, only in such that people haven't looked under their own, you know, covers, so to speak, you know, haven't peeked uh, below the, the, their belt in a long time and figured out, you know, what's missing in their bits and, and you know, why, why they're not naked in their wonder and some of the other lovely titles we've used for our pieces. So by going through them and using us as a mirror, like Campbell and I, have talked with each other for, you know, a couple of years now on this. And every time he mentions something, it helps me. Again, I'll talk about myself and he'll say something I never considered. And maybe I say a few things he hasn't considered. So we're helping each other grow simply by sharing our own reflections and our own energy and our own, uh, uh, you know, journey to our own freedoms. So that's what we're offering in like, like Campbell never wanted to be a coach. I never really wanted to too much. You know, I like doing in level limited heart coaching. Campbell was a little reluctant because, you know, and, and, and a real teacher is going to be very reluctant because we know we don't have your answers, right? We just feel that we can help you understand our journey. And so maybe that will help you understand your journey and through some loving reflections, help you understand yourself. And then you could, you know, take off the clown suit and have a better life. Hmm. Yeah, indeed. Um, you all know uh, the links below of our, of our course, and that if you want to take that further, and and you, and you feel that you've you know you've got, got some questions that you don't necessarily you're not getting the answers to, and you want a bit more you know perspective, um, that's pretty much what we're doing. It's it's um, we're basically giving it you know an hour, hour and a half a week, one on ones, uh, and going through you know questions that people have about their about their life at the moment about you know. What should they do? How do they change things? How do they manifest better? How do they get the mask off? How do they start to live as, as their true authentic self, right? Without the mask and all these kind of things. So um, as I said, we don't have all the answers. We don't claim to because they're your answers. We, we can't have your answers, but we can help you find them. So that's what 
um, we're offering a, a, as a, a another um, thing for you to if if you're if you decide that you need a bit more help, you know, a bit more clarity with with going forward, building the new earth. You know, it's, it's a strange time at the moment. Everyone's up in the air. What do I do? What do I do? What's real? What's not? Who am I? What do I really want? So yeah, if if you find uh, if you think that you know a bit of uh, a chat one on one with Lorenzo and I would help you out, then um, go and click the link below and and check it out. And we'd love to see that. And, and it is limited as well. We're not we're not just going to be selling. You know, it's limited to twenty four people because you know um, we only have so much time and we want to do a good. You know, we want to do a proper job. This is a proper thing. It's not going to be turn up and there'll be another hundred people on the Zoom or anything. No. It's one on one stuff. Um, so yeah, if that interests you, click the links below and then um, start to move, you know, out of Clamwell because this is what it's all going to be about is, you know, it's going to be about what are the masks that you're wearing? You know, what what's the costume that you're wearing? Why? Who told you that, that, that you should wear that costume? What's under that costume? You know, what's your real, you know, what, what's really under there? You know, it's this whole kind of stand naked in front of the mirror thing, right? Strip yourself back and actually look and go, okay. And the problem... People have a problem with that because they think when they do that, they're only going to see problems or limitations because they have all this input from the out world, from the outside world, telling them that they're not good enough. But we want to get you to a spot where you stand naked in the mirror and you're like, "I've got everything I need. I've got everything I need inside me. I can do it, and I'm going for it." And you start moving, and that that's it. We just want to get you start moving. Once you start moving and asking better questions and thinking it'll just you know snowball right and it's really just getting getting people moving getting the mindset changed into um i have everything i need you know if i want it i can create it if there's a problem i can find the solution that's where we want you rather than oh my god it's so hard i could do this but i could do that but what about this what about money you know that's all fluff it's all just mental static that's just there to, to, to keep you stuck basically so we want to tune you in and get rid of the static. So I love the way Cam will put it. A lot of people are finding themselves in the air these days, up in the air. So there's two things you can do when you're up in the air. You can be afraid of falling, which is how they get you, or you can learn to fly. So I'm figuring if you find yourself up in the air, learn to fly. It's much more interesting. It's much more fun. Uh, you know, we're going to remind people what it was like when they were little. That's what helped me. Uh, we're going to remind you how you can create your reality. That's what we're learning. We can remind you that, you know, if you're afraid to fall, that's how the government and the rules and the doctors and all the fools grab you. They go, you're up in the air. Oh, I'll catch you when you fall, though, if you give me, you know, your time and your attention or you vote for me or you, you have your, you know, 15 minute cities or you stop driving that car because when you fall, it's going to be so horrible when you fall, but we'll make it a soft landing for you. Right? And I would rather be up in the air like the birds, you know, poop on them and fly away. Go, you know, oh, sure, sure. You know, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll teach you how to poop while you're flying. And you and your bad your, your bad ideas are the poop. I mean, this is always the challenge, right? It's like there's no finger pointing. It's nobody's fault. Uh, one of the challenges and one of the beautiful things about the courses is, is you get to figure out for yourself, you know, where you've made your own errors in your own judgment, where you've made your own errors in your own belief system so that you can fix them, course correct. Whatever distortions you put in front of your eyes, you can fix your eyes, you can fix your health, you can fix your relationship. All these things, you know, we haven't mentioned that because that's what all of the the, the circus gurus and all the fakesters offer you right away. We'll fix your relationship, you know, we'll fix your health, we'll fix your, your job, we'll fix your money. And so people go, oh, right, here's my, you know, but that's, they're not going to fix anything for you. They, they really can't. You have to fix all these things for yourself. You know, it's like the old thing, give a guy a fish or teach a guy to fish, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, we're going to share how we learn to fish so that you can course correct. And when you're up in the air flying, you don't have to fly the way we're flying. Maybe you want to fly differently. Maybe you want to go higher. Maybe you want to go lower. Maybe you want to go back and save your family. Really, it's up to you. Save your children, save your wife. Save. It doesn't really matter what you want to do once you've learned to fly. The trick is, though, you have to learn to fly, right? And you have to see, you know, some of the other ideas, right, which is really interesting is, is, is you get what you give. That one really hit me, you know? So th this is how I want to share one bit of a lesson I got, which I think can help people understand how they've been tricked into creating the wrong, wrong kind of reality for themselves. I mean, if you say you get what you give, what does everyone think? Well, I help someone, they help me, right? Well, well I help, you know, I, I, I give a lot of money to my neighbors, so they're going to give me something back. But if you think about it, what are you actually giving? 
right? You're giving someone else help. That's what you're going to get. You're going to get giving someone else help. You're not necessarily going to get help from that. Right? That's the trick. They go, ah, oh, you give, you get. No, that's the ego saying, you know, I give you a present. You got to give something back to me, right? That's the attachment or I'm giving you this. So now, you know, quid pro pro and all this stuff. But that's not how reality works, right? You can help a thousand people, but that's what you're going to get. The feeling of helping a thousand people. But you'll still be standing there, maybe with empty pockets, maybe with no health at the end of it. You know, I helped my company to get successful and then they stole my pension. I've heard that before. They they left me out. I voted for this politician and they promised they would help me in my old age and set it up and, and I would have my retirement. And now what do I have? You know, I didn't get it back. But nobody promised you that rose garden, right? You know, you got what you gave and you gave your power away for someone else with a promise and that's all you're left with, right? They took your power and left you with a promise and so you're standing there with your, you know, your old willy in your hands, as they say, going, what do I do now? <laughs> naked, naked in, yeah. in, in your, in your miswonder, we'll say. <laughs> naked and <in> wondering. <laughs> naked and wondering. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> um, I mean, look at, you know, President Brandon, he, he's now said twice on elections, I'm going to pay off all your student debts. And all the little clowns went out and voted for him. He gave all the money to, to another country. Um, and, and, of course, all the clowns that are following him, they're starting to dye their hair green and put on their white <laughs> makeup, like Lorenzo said. They're literally turning into clowns. And how's this? All these people who don't know who they are, some people actually refer to themselves as clown self. This is like a pronoun, one of these pronoun things. So you know how they have she and they and them and... Really? And that. Apparently clown. Oh, nice. So people are now literally identical buying as clowns, which is good because they're letting us know who they are, right? But this is the thing. Um, don't be a clown. Um, you know, if you're up in the air, the, the, the system will always say, look, just come to us. We'll help you out. We'll make it safe. And all you've got to give us is, is, is your life and your soul. Mm. Well, they don't say that bit. That's in the fine print. Um, but the truth is exactly what we, we have wings. Right, so this is it. We have to understand that we don't need them. They're below us. We are powerful. Once we understand that we can fly and we can create, then that what are they even worth? Like, what's a blanket on the ground with four men holding it out, going, "We'll catch you." What's that <laughs> worth if you've got wings? Right, it's not worth anything. But this is how they get us. Right, they spend the, our whole lives: education, TV, books, media, telling you you don't have wings. That's it. That's the whole agenda. You don't have wings. You can't fly. You need us to catch you. And all you've got to realize is that's crap. That's a clown line. Of course we have wings. You know, we can take this back to the fallen angels as a story. You know, we, we used to know we could fly. And then people got us believing that we don't have wings anymore. And we all fell, mm. expecting someone else to catch us. So this is what this is all about. This is... You know, this is real. And, and by the way, you know, if you're thinking about having, you know, a, um, a chat with uh, Lorenzo and I, the one-on-ones, um, just do keep in mind that we're going to get real. We, you know, we're, we're not going to be wasting time and, you know, frosting things over, making them look nice, because it's all about results. Um, so, you know, so just keep that in mind. Um, I, I love frosting. <laughs> there will be change change required. Um but this is the thing, this is the biggest change, is we just need to get rid of the programming that they've instilled that makes us believe that we have less than we need, that we are that we don't have wings, that we are not creators, that we can't do whatever we want, that we're not free and sovereign. That's all a program. And if we, if we believe it, we live into it and we become a slave. So that's what we're getting rid of, right? We're going to go in and pick, uh, pick the lock and get you out of the mind out of the cage that, that society's built around it. And then once that's gone and you understand everything you need in you, then you just fly, right? Well, you, you clearly, if, if you've got everything you need, you don't you don't need to go back to gurus and and to you know school systems and medical systems, do you? Because you've got everything you need. No, and as, that's as it, where we're all going. It said at Delphi, the first thing was know thyself. And I read a story even this morning on Socrates when he was 40 and he was lost in his life. And he, he's the one who came up with an unexamined life is not worth living. 
And he asked a whole bunch of teachers at his, uh, you know, schools in his uh, city and his neighborhood, you know, what was life about? And you know, they gave him all these high fluting, poop and tooping answers. And, you know, he realized that they were all full of it. Right. And, uh, what, and how he became one of the wisest beings in history was by coming up with an unexamined life is not worth living. So he had to examine himself by that. And so many people miss the point of that. It's not examining the monetary system. Well, that's a good idea. It's not examining your history. Oh, that's fine. It's not examining your politicians. It's not examining the climate, right? It's not examining your carbon footprint. You know, it's not examining men and women relationships. It's not examining any of these things outside of yourself. Right? It really, th those are fine. You know, you can't be tricked if you realize they make the money. Like Brandon can't say he's going to pay your student debt off with something that doesn't exist because they made the debt in the first place. So they're 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 tricking you on both sides of the clown world, right? They put you in debt by raising the prices, and then they offer to save you with money that's not even theirs, anyways, that doesn't even really exist and is not of any value, right? So it's you, you know, yours. it's yours. So you're tricked on both sides. So what by what we mean, what Campbell means with that key is you got to you get to examine yourself how you made your choices, who you are, how you are, because that's where real power lays, lies, and flows from. It's you to fly with those wings. So an unexamined life is not worth living. Know thyself. It's why it's one of the wisest things that's ever been put up there. And without that, really, you are doomed to repeat yourself. And nobody, and especially myself, wants to see any more insanity going on if we can help ourselves by picking up our own power and figuring out what it is we're missing how it is we're missing it and how we can put that back into play for ourselves and then grow from there. Indeed, indeed. Um, um, there, there's a poem. Um, I can't remember who wrote it. Basically it says, come to the edge. He said, they said, no, we are scared. Come to the edge. He said, no, we may fall. They said, come to the edge. He said, and they came and he pushed them and they flew. Yeah, that's Joseph Campbell said the best stories, right? They don't have an ending. They take you to the unknown and throw you out. Yeah, yeah, that's what he said. The best stories, the best myths. They take you to an end and throw you out because they know you have to discover for yourself. This is a big, beautiful, fantastic world. Who knows what's possible beyond, like, like it's obvious if you look outside your window, if you look in society these days and the 12 jobs they offer you and the 12, you know, end results they offer you, they're, they're, of course there's more. Right. Of course, there's more. Of course, there's more potential. Of course, there's more life. Of course, there's more beauty. Of course, there's more wonder. There can't help but be more. It's so limited. It's so stupid. Right? It's so banal and anal and rid ridiculous what they offer you. I mean, it really, it really is that, you know, you, you know what, sniff another, you know, somebody's bum and, and make some babies and then die and hope they still love you at the end. I mean, come on. Right. I mean, that that's fine. Have a good relationship. Mm. Make babies if you want to enjoy the work you have. Grow some vegetables. Doesn't really matter. But the bottom in all of this is to understand yourself and then to fly with beautiful life, imagination and see where your unknown can take you, you know, out of the clown yeah. shadow, I would say. I mean, examine yourself. <laughs> yeah. And just be real. Examine yourself. This is a problem is people examine themselves with the mask on. You know, and mm. that's how you go. That's oh yeah, I'm, but it's all false, right? And and then and then they go home and they, and they have those times where they finally take the mask off and and things aren't that good. Um, so you got to be, you know, you got to be real. Got to grow up. Got to ask the real questions. Then you got to see that, that we've all done stupid stuff. We've all been clowns. We've all followed clowns. We've all got stuck in the three ring circle of us, you know. And then people are saying, oh, it's not that bad. Look, there's fairy floss over there. Oh, look, there's some clowns in a car. Oh, look, oh. Don't like this tent. There's another tent over there. This is a three ring circus. It's still all the circus. So it's time to go. No, nah, I'm going to jump the fence and I'm heading out there because there's more to this life than what you're presenting to me. And that's what this is all about. Making different and better decisions and understanding that we create reality. So if you want to create something better, it's got to come from you, right? No one else is going to create your reality for you. And if they do, you're not going to like it. Yeah, that's for sure. We can all do better. Don't be clown. Don't follow clowns. Yeah, we can all do better. I saw, do better. I saw a story here the other day. I'm going to leave it with this, selling cotton candy and spam. I, don't, I couldn't even believe it, right? The two things they were selling, cotton candy and cans oh. of spam. There was, there, I, I went to a shopping thing. Yeah, so I went, wow, the, really? And, you know, and I'm in Japan where they're supposed to have good food, but there was still, I saw a booth selling cotton candy and spam. And I went, well, now we've oh, come to, like spam. Yeah, we've come to a point 
where you can't spend a thing. It is, yeah, yeah. But we've come to a point where we can do better, where we can be better, where we are better. You don't have to do any of this. You don't have to take a course. You don't have to watch the videos. You don't have to do any of these things. You know, but if you're feeling in your guts, as I felt in my guts, something's wrong, something can be better, there's something missing, and there's something uh, that uh, you would like to do or create that you're not, then perhaps our course and our time with you can help you out. Hmm. But mostly if you feel that you're stuck in that circus and you're just going round and round in circles and you can't seem to get off the merry-go-round, um, you know, that that's really where we think we can help and sort of put a cut in that and get you, you know, out of the circus, off the merry-go-round and, and going in a different direction. So as we said, all links are below. We would love to um, talk to you and help you on your journey. Um, and so, yes, please check it all out. Yep. If anybody has any questions, send me an email. We can have a quick chat. See if it's right for you. We don't want anyone doing this that's not ready. And we don't want to be, you know, making any, 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 spend our time working with someone that doesn't want to do the work either. So if you want to have a chat with us, see if it's good. There's no obligation. We're happy to see what's possible. My email will be below. The links will be below if you're ready. The links for the course and working with us includes the cost of the course. So it's all, it's an all inclusive full movement forward. And we'd be delighted to see if it's possible for you, me, all of us. And I love you all very much. And I appreciate your time here today. Indeed. And just so you know, it's one to one and a half hours every week for three months, one on one, well, yep. one on two, <laughs> um, to work through any problems, questions, issues you may have. So the links are below. Uh, yeah, so we love you all. Um, also, you'll find our link for our Patreon if you want to um, check that out. There's some exclusive content going up on that as well. Links for the courses, all that kind of stuff below, websites, interesting stuff. Um, and we'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye bye everyone. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us.